Right. East Water Lane. Here's a stile. I came across this field yesterday. I feel like I've been on a two day ramble actually. <laughs> and um, I'm just coming back. <laughs> it don't feel like I've been home. I've been back out, see. I've been back out. And like I said, the time that normally, there's the ba pretty barrows, the start of them up there. You can walk up through there and get up there. I'm not doing that today. Don't know when I will do that. I will, you can go up in the barrows without cows. But normally I have to walk up that road a bit and then get on the little road going up there. But on non-cow day, on non-cow day, I can go across this field. Oh. Right, I've just put the camera charger back, back on now. East Water Lane. I've just come across a stile there. Just zoom in. in case those last two videos didn't come out properly. It would have been two quick ones. And like I said, up there, couldn't see the see them yesterday but there's this, there's one barrow a couple of no don't see the tops of th four barrows pretty barrows there's more than that and there's another row of them further back but it is possible to walk up there and that, this is a good time to do it if you have the energy because it's non cow day this is not our this is not for cultivation but the grass as you can see the grass is still quite short really it has to become nice and lush and green uh, and enough for them to last them for a season so basically that's what's happening And I'm enjoying walking across this field because normally I have to go up the road and up a little lane, which is still okay. It's still okay. But if you see a stile, you think, oh, I want to walk across there. That's what you say to yourself. So this will be a nice little circular walk that I've done with a bit of weaving in between. Almost like a figure eight, really. Because I did a little tiny bit of gorge, only skirting. Only went in there for a little while into dust and wood. And, um, like I said, because the other videos might not turn out, um, I'm doing the reverse journey. Yesterday I came across this way. And it was thick mist. But it was nice. It was still a nice day to come out. But the, cow, the cows certainly have got a beautiful area to come and graze. Fed and protected they are. <sighs> yeah, there's a little hut. I seen someone buy it a minute ago. I don't really know what that hut does. I mean, it might be something to do with a water pumping station or something like that. Or an electric generator. Or just someone's shed. Stockland wood over there. Wells. Huge aerial. <sighs> 
I might possibly be able to walk across to the next gate or stile. There's somebody ahead doing that rather than come out. Cause the other day I came, I came over that gate. I'll go over this stile. I haven't been over this one before. It's like a little, it's like a little valley on its own here, isn't it? This is all probably to do with the caving system, all this, you know. <sighs> well, it goes underground, doesn't it? And that's where the, the pothole, the pothole, St Cuthbert's pothole, is just beyond those buildings in the wood there. I found that. And uh, I know, I have got it all written down, the history. I've never actually seen, been here to look at this before up close. There's like a stream down there, look. It's an area fenced off as well. It's probably part of a caving system that's collapsed. If you think about it, it's fenced off. It could even be an entrance to a cave down there. And people with um, permission would be allowed to go in it. Yeah, I reckon that's probably an entrance tucked in under all those bushes. In fact, I think I saw something then. Something metal, like a pipe. Yeah, maybe not. Curiosity, curiosity killed the cat, they say. She says, don't, don't go any further, girl. Go back over the stall. I'm just wondering how far you can walk around these fields. Could be that you can go up even further, see? I've never this is the first time over this stile. Lovely big stone again. Like a massive gravestone, isn't it? Massive. <coughs> Loads of people, living and dead, have crossed over this boundary. We just have a little nose around while we're here, though. While we can. While there's no cows, you can sort of look about. See something there? Look, this could be evidence of old mining. You know, all this, this pitted area. All this pitted area here. Obviously a dwelling there once. It'll be on the map. What I've got to remind myself is, I've got the map and I'll, I'll analyse it a bit more later. And there we go, I reckon that, I'll look that up as well because I've got a feeling that is entrance to a caving system of some sort or underground water system. When I do the, um, put the video together with photos and everything, I'll put some captions in on the video. I just have a look up there again. Yeah, there's like a little hut there. I don't really know what that is. If it's for cows or it's a pump, it could be a pumping, water pumping station. Because there's another one. That there has got something to do with that as well. And I've stood on that mound there, that, that barrow. High up, there was a hierarchical system back in those days. 
there was a hierarchical, hierarchical system. <sighs> Apparently. Yes, if the cows are away, I can play. With a big hole there, look. Swallet. Is it a sinkhole? Was it dug by the army? Yeah, it's all very interesting, isn't it? Like I say, this part is mapped, is on the map. My SD map. Yeah, I've seen people wandering all the way up there. I'll do it another time. I haven't really got the energy today. Um, yeah, a few years back, I would have had to have I would have had to go up there. You know, I mean, this is what happens when you get older and slower. I would have said, yeah, I'm going up there, and I would have marched run up it. That's how I've um, deteriorated. <sighs> yeah, I would have been up there. I've been up there, of course. I have done it. I haven't done it in the winter, though. Just one of those things you can... I can still do the mineries and all that for a walk another time. This is a sort of walk I can do, this local bit. Or even park up over the forest there. Do a bit of wandering. Because you can... You've got to rely on the bus service. Uh, no, I've got to rely on uh, Alberta. Because if I walk from Cheddar... Or Draycott. It's a long hike before you even start coming out here to explore. You know, it's a long hike. You don't want to have to do two or three hours walk and then start exploring. You know, I mean, it's that's the that's the problem. I'm hanging on to Alberta as long as I can. And she doesn't cost much more in the car. I mean, the tax and insurance are going to be about the same. <sighs> Petrol. I don't know if she's juicier. I don't know, really. <sighs> oh, it's lovely air, though, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? back where we were and earlier was the other side of the farm went across that field there there were cows in that barn I went across there towards that wood over there that's what I did earlier coming from pretty that way I'm going back up a little country lane now that I do and I'm going to cross the fields from a different angle that's the plan I just got to remember. How... Yeah, I got a feeling I'm going to climb over this gate. Um, it's very muddy from that side. Right, I'm going to turn off for now. Over and out.